Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where we talk about all things diabetes. Because let's face it, it's not like we have anything better to do. Today, we're going to talk about how Excel can help a diabetic patient manage their condition. Yes, you heard me right. Excel, the software your boss makes you use to create spreadsheets for the company's budget, can actually be helpful for something other than making your life a living hell. First up, tracking blood sugar levels. Excel can be used to create a spreadsheet where the patient can record their blood sugar levels at different times of the day, along with the date and time. This way, you can finally put all that data to good use and stop just staring at it, wondering what it all means. Next, tracking medications. Excel can be used to create a spreadsheet where the patient can record the medications they are taking, including the dosage, frequency, and time of day. This way, you can finally put all those pill bottles to good use and stop just staring at them, wondering what they all do. Third, tracking food and exercise. Excel can be used to create a spreadsheet where the patient can record the foods they eat and the amount of physical activity they engage in. This way, you can finally put all that guilt to good use and stop just staring at the pizza, wondering why you can't have any. Fourth, tracking appointments and lab results. Excel can be used to create a spreadsheet where the patient can record their upcoming appointments and lab results. This way, you can finally put all that anxiety to good use and stop just staring at the calendar, wondering when you'll have to go through all this again. Finally, creating charts and graphs. Excel allows creating charts and graphs from the data entered. This way, you can finally put all that creativity to good use and stop just staring at the wall, wondering why you can't be an artist. In all seriousness, Excel can be a useful tool for helping a diabetic patient manage their condition, but it's important to work closely with a healthcare provider to develop an individualized treatment plan. And remember, Excel is not a substitute for professional medical advice. But if it helps you to stay organized and on top of your diabetes management, then it's worth a try. That's it for today, folks. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, stay healthy, stay organized, and stay away from Excel if possible.